Welcome back friends. In this video we will be talking about allele frequency or gene frequency. So what gene frequency is telling us? Gene frequency means as the term suggests frequency for a gene. So it is telling us that <coughs> a particular allele and how many time a particular allele is repeated in a population. Okay, so what do we mean by allele? If you remember, allele is a version. Allele is version of a gene. That means if you look at a chromosome, so let me draw. If you look at a chromosome here, let's say this one, and if you look at a particular point, a point where gene resides is called the locus. Now inside this locus, we are having that gene. Now that gene can be a single one, but it may have two version of that same gene. So this ha can have two version: version one, version two. Now those version of the same gene G will be called as alleles. So these things are required to know before understanding. So these are called alleles, right? So allele locus gene, we know the concept. Now for the gene frequency, gene frequency means uh, how many times a particular allele is repeated in a particular locus of a whole population. It's called the frequency of that allele. Frequency for allele in turn is a frequency for genes, right? So frequency for gene means how many times that particular gene or the version of the gene is repeated throughout the population. Okay, and this particular idea helps us to understand the genetic diversity of a population. That's why it's important. It helps so the gene frequency, it helps to understand genetic diversity of a population this is very very important okay now how to calculate the gene frequency now to calculate the gene frequency it, it is having a formula gene frequency equals to what we can write here is let's say Number of an allele or number of copies of an allele. Number of copies of an allele. Let's say allele A1, for example. This is the example of that allele. Divided by total number of all alleles in a locus. Total number of all alleles in a locus. Okay. So the locus is fixed. Try to understand. So we will be finding that particular locus. We will be making the fix that particular locus. Locus means the point where the gene resides. So in whole population, if I draw the population here, Let's say this is the whole population limit. And in all this population, we are having, let's say, many chromosomes. One. So these are the different uh, individuals having different chromosomes representation. Okay. And the locus will be fixed. So the locus, let's say the locus is this blue line. So this part is the locus through all. So we'll be not finding a locus here and in other organism locus uh, somewhere else. We'll be finding all the genes present at the same locus. So same locus this is very very important and we'll be looking at gene present at that particular locus let's say the locus is l so we'll be finding all the locus designated as l throughout the population and we will try to find the number of that particular allele present in that locus or not let's say here in this case allele is present so allele a1 is present here is no no present 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 no present let's say if this is the situation for a population so how many of this allele is present one two three four five six out of out of nine so we are having six times present out of nine <coughs> and into we're making a hundred right so we'll be getting the frequency of gene as it is a frequency we always calculate it in percentage okay so we'll be getting it in percentage that's what our actual goal is. Okay. Similarly, let's say we try to find another population. 
and in that population we are getting let's say uh, only two times only twice the same uh, gene is present twice the rest of the part it is not present so the frequency will be less in that particular population so uh, so as in this case we are always finding g allele a1 similarly we can find many alleles thousands of different alleles and comparing thousands of different alleles present in different locus we can get the idea that whether how many diverse how much diverse the population actually is if you are finding it is not uh, following a particular law that means it is just it is let's say in one uh, in comparing one allele uh, a1 it is having a particular frequency less allele 2 high allele 3 less again so if it is having a dispersed distribution of all these alleles we can tell that particular population is much more diverse right and if it is a very small if it is not having that kind of variance inside the population we can tell the population is not diverse this is less diverse okay so the diversity of a population can be understood or can be predicted by getting the frequency of a particular allele in a population okay so that's what gene frequency is and the gene frequency inside a population always remains at a constant value if five things maintained particularly and the thing is mutation must not be there there will be no selection there will be no selected mating that that means there there will always be random mating there will be no migration and there will be no uh, let's say uh, migration means immigration and emigration both this thing so if if inside the population these things follows then this gene frequency always remains constant and that is the rule of hardy weinberg equilibrium they suggested us hardy and weinberg uh, they are scientists and they suggested us that that if these five conditions are maintained properly in a population then the population frequency will never be changed okay but if any one of it is tempered in in, in slight way then it can vary the population actually population vary from one place to another place the gene, gene frequency varies from one population to another and that is very common that they are not following hardy weinberg equilibrium because of the five rules because in nature always these rules are implied okay so that's very very important so that's kind of it and i hope that's helpful thank you